Hi, my name is Gaspar Nagy, and in this video I would like to show you how to run specflow tests easily on a Team Foundation server using specron 1.2. Just like in the previous videos, I will use my bookshop demo that has been already configured with specron, and in this case it has been already uh, connected to a Team Foundation server pro project. All the sources has, have been checked in, and I even have created a build configuration which is pretty much a default configuration. And I already have a couple of passing uh, builds, uh, of course, without tests so far. So let's conf configure the tests and let's see how easily you can done this with the new spec run. Because of the improvements of the Visual Studio integration uh, and the Team Foundation Server integration, actually configuring spec run tests to be executed on the Team Foundation Server is ve very easy. You don't have to install anything on the build server or change the process template. The only thing that you have to do is to just create another test configuration. By default, there is a test configuration which is triggering for the test DLL, but in our case, this is now called specs, so that's why this was not found. Let's keep this test configuration for later, maybe for unit testing, and let's add another one called specs. And uh, for this, we run the test from the assemblies and with specs. We are using the Visual Studio Test Runner with the default options. You can see that now there is a, a specs configuration and actually we are done. Let's see whether this is uh, uh, this is working now. I'm queuing the new build and it has been started. After a couple of seconds the build has been finished. As what you can see is that uh, we have a one test run completed. 100% test pass rate with all the 63 uh, tests that we have and we can just simply open uh, the results and we see all of our tests passing um, here. You can see that it's using the, the, the scenario titles that we have that we have specified with spaces and and so on. We could have a look at the, the, the details of the execution result. The other important thing is to see uh, the, the details of the entire test run that you can uh, see with this button. Actually, what you see here is the standard output of, uh, of spec run uh, together with the, the tests executed. However, the important thing for us is the collected files at the end, especially the report file, which I can open. And it's actually here. Uh, you can see the detailed uh, Spectrum execution details. So, as you have seen, it was very easy to configure Spectrum to run on Team Foundation server, and uh, you can use all the Spectrum features also on the build server that are, that, that are existing locally, together with parallel execution and any other feature. If you want to run a special profile on the, on the build server and not the default profile, one thing that you can do, you can create a profile called TFS, so TFS.SR profile, and the TFS integration will, will automatically pick this profile and set that. The other option is to configure the build execution with the so-called run settings file. Uh, the spec run documentation contains a sample run, run settings file, which I can just add to my solution. Existing items, I go to the packages, spec run runner docs and uh, I should have a sample run settings. Here you can do general configuration related to the execution like output folders or or uh, or target platform. However, there is a spec run specific uh, part as well where you can uh, specify which profile you want to use or you can change other configuration details as well uh, like the report file name. If you have created such a run settings file, then you can configure your build uh, to use this run settings instead of the default run settings. So you can specify the run settings file here. Although spec run profiles allow you to configure different filter criteria, you can also use the filtering possibilities of the TFS configuration itself. There is this criteria tab here where you have to specify a filter expression. Please know that this filter expression is using the TFS filter expression syntax, which is not the same as the 
background filter expression syntax, but it's quite uh, easy to, to use. For example, if, you, if I want to run only the scenarios that are tagged with the uh, important tag, then I can say just tag equals important. Other details and further configuration options uh, with the team, team foundation server integration you can find in the documentation. We have attached the spec log file uh, uh, to the doc folder of the Spectrum uh, NuGet package. There is also an HTML export uh, version included. Just search for TFS and you will see the details here, including the, the different filter criteria options or the different settings. I hope this short introduction was useful for you and you can use Spectrum on your Team Foundation server.